I'm Carrie. I cosplay, crochet, and do history bounding. And yes, I'm sitting on the floor with a giant carboy. My husband makes mead, and he asked me to crochet a carboy cozy so that we can protect the mead. These carboys are made out of glass and just how we store them as they're bubbling away. There is a risk of them bumping into each other. Glass is pretty strong, but still, if they hit the wrong way on the sides and shatter, that would be a big mess. So not only is this video going to show you how to crochet a bottle cover, but also how to crochet over or around a specific object. Because I have done that on more than one occasion and not just bottles. Other than my carboy, what do I have with me? I have some random yarn that it's not really enough to do much with. This is a perfect project for using up scraps. My crochet hook today, six millimeter. This will help make this go faster and it doesn't have to be perfectly tight as long as we do have some protection on the side so that it won't clank together. I did remember to bring scissors with me. Did not bring my darning needle down on the floor with me. I will have to finish this later. To start, making a slip knot, and then I'm going to do a chain, a bunch of chains. I'm gonna need more. a reasonable distance down the neck of the bottle. There's no point in starting all the way up here because the area that we're really concerned about is on the side. Let me see if I can readjust the camera here and make this easier to see. Okay, that's not bad. The sides, this is where we're concerned about. The bottles bumping into each other. But I have to go from up here down around and then keep going. So there's no point in starting all the way up here. Actually, I think I'll add a couple more. I think that'll work for me. Okay, now carefully slip stitch into the first chain so that I don't have any twists. Now I have my center ring to start. Because I want this to go quickly, I'm going to be using double crochets. Chain two, that equals one double crochet. I'm going to put another double crochet in the same space because I need to be increasing. I need more stitches in. But I'm not sure I need to do two in each. So I'm going to do two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, and see how that works. Okay, I have come full circle and joined. Very important when you are doing this kind of experimental crochet, test often over your object. That seems to be laying flat, like that. I'm going to guess for my next round, same thing, I don't need to increase too much. So I'm, I'm thinking this round, two double crochets in one, and then one double crochet in the next three. We'll see if it works. Two chains gets me up, flip the work, 
You can either start by doing another double crochet into this same space, or I like to get away from the join before increasing. So this is going to be one, two, three. Now I'm going to put two double crochets into the next stitch. One double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, there's the third. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to do two, which increases. I'm going to do this pattern all the way around, and we'll take a look after I join. Another round done. It's puckering. That means I have too many stitches. I have a choice. I can leave it as is and be lazy, which I do do sometimes, I will admit. But because I don't have that much yarn for this project, I am going to undo this and change the pattern. So I was doing three stitches in between every increase. I think I'm gonna try five stitches next time in between. I'll see you once I have that done. And I'm back. You may notice it looks different. I realized I don't need it to be solid across the top. I can have chain spaces in there. It's along the sides where I want to have double crochets all the way around. That seems to be fitting very well. Again, I'm going to need to increase. What I think I'm going to do, double crochets into the chain spaces, because that's easy, but I still need to increase. Hmm. It doesn't need to be pretty. Let's just try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but at the moment I am doing double crochet, chain, double crochet. I'm doing double crochets into both the chain spaces and into the top of the double crochets from the previous round. I'm concerned it might be too much of an increase, but we shall wait and see. Actually, so far not bad. I am crocheting without my yarn bowl. I'm containing my yarn by having it between my legs. Okay, that was not too much of an increase. Okay. get another round in before I'm really at the curve, I guess it's the shoulders of the carboy and start going down. Time to do another increase round. For this next round, I'm just going to do double crochets into the chain space of the previous round. We'll see how that goes. problems with crocheting with a larger hook, you go through your yarn a lot faster. On to the next color. Because I don't care how this looks, it is purely a practical thing. I'm just tying the two ends together and I'll keep crocheting. even sewn the ends for this. Well, I'm pretty much at the shoulder. 
I think it is time to make this less lacy and more solid. Still need to increase, but not a lot. Maybe one increase every 10 stitches. Just enough to add maybe three or four more stitches all the way around. This time I'm going to be going into both the chain spaces and the tops of the chains. The knot was right here. I am now crocheting over top of my ends. It's coming along quite nicely. I don't think we're quite ready to go straight down. I'm thinking of just adding maybe three stitches to this. Almost every single stitch is going to be into the top of the previous double crochet. Looks like I've gone about a third of the way around. I'm going to do an increase now. looking good. It might be a little bit bigger than the carboy, but I like that. If it's too tight, it's going to want to bunch up at the top instead of hang down where it needs to be. I'm at the stage where all I'm going to be doing now is going straight down. So matching stitch for stitch, double crochet into each double crochet until it's good chunk of the way down or I really run out of yarn. I'll keep coming back and show you my progress as I go along, but I think it's time for me to get up off the floor. My butt's starting to hurt. It's finished! I don't think I'm even going to bother worrying about sewing in the ends. It doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to protect the carboys so we can protect our mead. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some of the other crazy things I crochet, be sure to click the subscribe button. Until next time, have fun and be creative. Now we just need to fill you with mead. <laughs>